This is show 92 of the Cloth Diaper Podcast, and we are going to talk about when to start cloth diapering as part of our Cloth 101 series. You know the drill. The Cloth Diaper Podcast is a somewhat regular show dedicated to sharing stories of cloth diapering from parents, brands, and retailers around the world. My name is Bailey. I am a cloth diaper educator, advocate, and consultant. And over the past couple of years, I have been interviewing parents and brands around the world to really get to know their story and share them with you. I started this podcast because I wanted to improve transparency in this community and start really talking about what's going on. What are the lived experiences? And that's why I don't have a Facebook group. That is why I podcast. And I want us as a community to increase our transparency about what is going on out there. Today, we are going to do this Cloth 101 series. This is the introduction. And if you are looking for more information, more beginners FAQ and more pictures, images, and diagrams, I really recommend that you check out my book, Cloth Diapers, The Ultimate Guide to Textiles, Washing, and More. It is available for 10 bucks in black and white on Amazon. And you can also find it in color through Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and other book distribution cycles. Oh my gosh, I'm not very good at that. Um, but clothdiaperpodcast.com slash book will have all the details on my one-on-one book. I really set up my book as a FAQ. It's not a guidebook. It's not like a rule book on how to get started. It's a, these are all the parts. These are all the possible solutions. And you know what? Since writing that book, a lot of information has changed. And I really hope that this year in 2022, I can update some of those thoughts. It is still a great foundational book. Some of the big things that have changed are about wool washing. Um, and I I want you to know, most importantly, is that there's not one right way to cloth diapering. I mean, I, I write a book about cloth diapers and I update it regularly because the knowledge is changing as we become more unified as a community. For years, we have been talking about one way of cloth diapering and and really there are so many ways to cloth diaper and the more that we learn from each other through these conversations on the podcast the network and different platforms the more we understand what's going on and can create simple solutions to empower you to cloth diaper anyways that was a bit of a tangent let's get to today's question which is when to start cloth diapering There is no right or wrong answer here, guys. You can start cloth diapering at any time that you want to. You can cloth diaper from birth at hospital. You can cloth diaper at 18 months. You can cloth diaper your third baby, your fourth baby. There is no best time to cloth diapering. The best time to cloth diaper is probably right now. Stop overthinking it. Stop waiting for all of your ducks to be in a row and just do it. Uh, I meet a lot of parents who are like, I'm waiting for life to calm down. I'm waiting. Okay, no, just start today. You don't have to cloth diaper full time. You don't need to make it a big deal. Do one cloth diaper a day, two cloth diapers a day. Do it kind of casually. Go full in. Parenting is a wild ride that never really gets easier. I kind of feel a little bit like betrayed because I feel the older my kids are getting, the more challenging it is. It's just in unique, different ways that I am having a strong. Anyways, uh, I get it. Like the newborn phase is hard. The infancy phase is hard, but it's never, there's never going to be this perfect calm day where it's ready to learn something new. You are learning something new every day in parenting. So just start today. That said, I thought we could talk a little bit about newborn diapering, a little bit about toddler diapering, and kind of shape this information to help you. So if you're thinking about cloth diapering a newborn baby and you have one size diapers, I'm going to spill the myth. Just like one size tights or one size leggings or one size sweaters that you buy as an adult, uh, one size diapering is also kind of, it's one size fits most. It's not one size fits all. It's one size fits most. And it's kind of based on an average. And we've seen the general one size diaper in the North American market actually kind of change. It used to really be this like six to 30 pounds. And I would say most one size diapers on the market now are this 10 to 40 pounds. 
So the one size diaper varies between the brand that puts it out and then your baby. And your baby is going to grow at your baby's own rate and its own development. And all of that is healthy. And some of us have petite babies and some of us have giant babies and some of us have average babies. So for some of us, one size diapers will work great from newborn. And for some of us, they won't. Um, And this is a game we can't predict because our babies are unique and they are their own people and they are doing their own things. One size diapers will be a little bit awkward and bulky and big on the baby right off the bat. So you can either be okay with this or you can wait until they kind of chunk up a lot. In general, 10 to 12 pounds seems to be a good weight range for starting on that smallest rise setting. The most important thing for diapering is that the newborn, the one size diaper really can adjust. It's beautiful in that, right? You snap it down to size and you can fold your inserts down to size and you can fold your flats down to size. You can also buy size diapers. There's the size one diapers and size two diapers. There's newborn size diapers. There's super size diapers. Size diapers fill this beautiful space of providing options for those of us who have babies who are tiny and babies who are big. Unfortunately, we can't really prepare you to know whether or not you need this size system or this one size system. Size systems are often designed to be a cover and fitted or cover and insert system, which does lower the cost significantly. And I think it's also okay to recognize that you can use disposable diapers in the flex. I have a hard time talking about newborn diapering, and I've talked about this on my Instagram page a lot because for me, I value more than anything respecting women's rest. You have just had a baby, and I want, and the North American culture really pushes women to go. I have can remember being in those mom groups and women being like, I went to Target today, two days after birth, or I went to Walmart. No, let's, we don't need to celebrate getting up and going. Trust in the people in your community, in your village, in your partner to do those things for you in delivery services and heal your body. You just had a baby. It is okay to respect your body and slow down. And so I am cautious when giving the advice of cloth diapering a newborn. If you have the support services, awesome. I mean, some families don't even have the option. They have to cloth diaper because you don't have disposable diapers. So do it. But please, more than anything, if you are cloth diapering your newborn baby and you are doing the diaper laundry that you recognize and you take time to slow down, heal your body, heal your mind, and understand that post-birth is an important time for that. I do not want to advocate for the busyness of motherhood, and I want you to find ways to do it all. To do it all. I don't want you to find ways to do it all. I want you to find ways to take a break. Um, Anyways, I cloth diapered babies from newborn uh, nonetheless, but I also had a really great husband who helped me, who did the laundry. Let your husband do it. Trust in him. Sure, he might not do awesome, and maybe he'll miss a step. It's just a few steps, and we can fix it. Or consider hiring out a diaper service. Newborn days is a great time to think about diaper services. We often think about diaper services as all or nothing because they can be quite expensive. But diaper services can fill a great need. They could be, you know what? Um, you could ask for them as a gift and you could diaper use a diaper service from zero to three months. Diaper services will have newborn diapers or smaller fitting prefolds or smaller fitting fitteds. This might be a comparable cost. And you don't have to do laundry. Diaper services can fill a need in your life when you're curious about cloth diapering or when you need a break or when you need a different size diaper. Diaper services, don't underestimate them. I really think they have a great value in our community. Now, you can really start cloth diapering anytime. And if you're thinking about, well, maybe I don't know if cloth is right for me, you could try a diaper service for a couple weeks, a month. Or you can buy a couple of diapers and do it part-time. 
Many families start cloth diapering at birth. Many families start cloth diapering at six months. Some families start cloth diapering at 18 months. Some families cloth diaper their third, fourth, fifth child. There's no wrong time to start cloth diapering, and the best time is really right now. Motherhood and adapting to parenting is chaotic. Waiting for the storm to calm is not going to happen. Start cloth diapering today and next week we're going to talk about where you can buy your cloth diapers so that you can start cloth diapering today. Uh, I mean, really, you could cloth diaper today. You could grab an old receiving blanket, wrap it around baby, put on some fleece pants and call it a day. When the fleece pants get wet, wash them. Fleece pants are a great buffer. You can DIY it. You can borrow a cover. You can reach out to a cloth diaper bank. You don't have to wait for the perfect time, the perfect diapers, or the perfect stash. Cloth diapering is incredibly adaptive, incredibly versatile, and you don't have to do it all or nothing. So many parents today are uh, giving cloth a go by doing two diapers a day. They they do two cloth diapers. They rinse out those cloth diapers and they toss them in with their next load of laundry. We don't need to be overthinking it. And it's okay to find a routine and rhythm that is functional for your family and doesn't necessarily look like what is portrayed online. I don't think I have much more to add to this conversation and eight minutes feels like enough time to be yammering on. As always, you can find the show notes or the transcription for this episode on the clothdiaperpodcast.com show notes. And I have written out these Cloth 101 series as blog posts. That's what I'm kind of reading from, but it's a little bit different when I wrote it out. Uh, simplymombailey.com. That is my personal blog where I share personal stories about motherhood, but also reviews and my experience in cloth diapering is kept there. I keep the two separate because to me, the Cloth Diaper Podcast is about this community space of experiences. And my experience is just one. My experience of cloth diapering was that of a white cis woman in an upper middle class household. And that is not the only story out there. And so the Cloth Diaper Podcast is home to different stories from different women, different men, different parents, different types of families around the world and how they found it to work for them. I feel like I just ended up in a tangent about the whiteness of cloth they bring, and I did, and it's important to recognize that. It is a very whiteness industry, and um, this influence about when to start cloth diapering is kind of influenced by that. I mean, that's why I stay away from newborn cloth diapering conversations. Um, but that's my personal bias. And the other day, I had a woman in my Instagram uh, put me in my place. And newborn cloth diapering can be a fantastic, beautiful way to cloth diaper and to feel empowered in your journey of motherhood or parenting, because you guys are not all mothers. There is a diversity of listeners today. Uh, thank you for joining me. Until next time, there is no Cloth 102 on this. I don't know what to talk about. If you have an idea for a 102 on this when to start cloth diapering, let me know. But we will go into more depth about toddler diapering and newborn diapering in a later episode of this How to Cloth Diaper series. Until next time, bye.